attendance. All in attendance say here. 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 Jasmine, Mrs. Wellington isn't a member on this board. Now, first item on the agenda, our planned bus trip tomorrow to visit our illegally imprisoned brother and offer him moral support. Have we assembled the reading material and baked goods for Brother Shabazz? Check. I have the latest edition of Highlights and two and a half Fig Newtons. Two and a half? Mrs. Wellington got hungry. What about the snacks for the two-hour bus ride? I got part of a Lunchable and a half a bottle of Snapple. Oh, so you just want to drink the white man's poison, huh? I don't. High fructose corn syrup. Read about it. It'll kill you. Great, so we'll just get a head count for the trip. Everybody who's going, raise their hands. Oh, come on, Jasmine. The man is on death row. He needs moral support. I'm not allowed to go past the second light post. I hope you don't treat me like this when I'm on death row. I'll go next time. I promise. Well, he'll be dead next time. But I'll tell him you said hi. This is uncomfortable. Yeah. Hey. M may I sit down over there next to Riley? What are you guys talking about? Are you talking about who's doing the break-ins? If you know, you can tell me. I won't tell anybody. Jasmine, are you wearing a wire? What the hell is this, a snitch-a-thon? Charis had my daddy! Jasmine, calm down. Charis kidnapped my father, and they're gonna come up as head in Algeria. My daddy was supposed to be home from work before school let out, and he isn't here. And we're at Terror Alert Level Orange. Orange! <laughs> J Jasmine, just because your dad is late coming home from work doesn't mean that... Hello? Riley, is that you? Put your brother on, it's an emergency. What's the emergency? I'm in jail. <laughs> Don't drop the soap. Who is that? Yeah? Riley, it's Tom. I thought you only get one phone call from jail. Who's this? Huey, I got arrested. They say I fit the description. I think it's because I'm black, Huey. You have to get me out of here, Huey. You don't want to know what they'll do to me in jail. They'll rape you. That's what they're going to do. But you're not in jail. You're in holding. And I don't think people usually get raped in holding. Hold on. Granddad, do people get raped in holding? <laughs> Um, your father wants you to know he's nobody's bitch. The Tooth Fairy will be coming soon. The Tooth Fairy? Yep. Every time I lose a tooth, the Tooth Fairy takes it away and leaves a dollar under my pillow. There ain't no such thing as a Tooth Fairy. Then who's leaving the money? Probably your parents. They have both the cash and the access to your room. Why did they lie to me? Because the truth hurts, Jasmine. The world is a hard and lonely place, and nobody gets anything for free. And you want to know what else? One day, you and everyone you know is going to die. <laughs> You enjoy abusing people's illusions. I respect that. It's thankless work. Hi, Huey. What's the matter? You wouldn't understand. I'm being shadowed by a secret agent. Really? Who? Where is he? I don't know. Kind of just pops up out of nowhere and then disappears. You mean like the Tooth Fairy? No, I don't mean like the Tooth Fairy. Sounds like the Tooth Fairy to me. You can believe in secret agents, and I can't believe in the Tooth Fairy? That's messed up, Huey. Go eat something out of a dumpster, you street urchin. It doesn't have to last. Don't use nails, then. Use glue. I don't 
morning, Huey. What a great day today. Whatever. Huey Freeman, you're the only person I know who can take a beautiful day like this and turn it into a problem. What's that box for? It's my soapbox. If you have important things to say, you use a soapbox. Sir, would you like to hear about how the government wants you dead by 62 so you can't collect on Social Security? Is that true? Yes, but lemon juice can lead to a longer, healthier life. Oh, I'll take a cup. See? You depressed him, and I had a lemonade ready to cheer him up. That's called synergy. Damn, he's hot. The police were well, responding to a, cabin, a call about a broken fire like a hydrant when they pulled over the suspect here on Timid like Deer Lane. The officers really apparently mistook the suspect's like safety orange wallet for a gun and, and shot at him 118 times and beat him. What did I see? Well, that brings up an interesting philosophical question. Is it okay to snitch to the police on the police? Prozac can lead to suicide. But lemonade can lead to smiles, which can cause dimples. Dimples? I'll take two. Thank you. You're good for business. What's this here? Jasmine's Lemonade Parade. The E's are backwards. Interesting. Well, Jasmine, I'm a very powerful man with a very powerful thirst. What do you recommend? Lemonade. Lemonade was a popular drink in my day, and it still is. One lemonade, please. One dollar, please, Mr. Wensler. How's business? You're not good enough. I'm saving for a pony. A pony? Wow, those could be pricey. Like a couple hundred bucks? I know. I'm like... Hey, guys, I could buy a car for that much. Talk about highway robbery. <laughs> <laughs> highway robbery. <laughs> you know, I raise ponies. No. Ah, magnificent. I admire well, them. let them treat you like that. What, you think ponies grow on trees? What kind of question is that? It's a large four-legged mammal. Or maybe I'm just supposed to wait until I'm an old woman before I get my pony. How am I gonna look, Huey? A 65-year-old woman riding a pony. Jasmine, he's a crook. You just want everyone to be miserable because you're miserable. And why are you wearing that stupid coat? I wish you'd go away. Well, don't stand there. Lemonade ain't gonna make itself. If I see a single thirsty person on this block, they better be broke. It's gonna be hot today. A press conference was held at Jasmine's lemonade stand to announce ruckus to settle with the police department. He turned down a seven-figure settlement offer. In fact, all ruckus asked for was to fulfill a childhood dream of being a police officer. Oh, Daddy said I can go to the movies, but he said I'm not allowed to see Soul Plane. Good. You don't want to go to the movies with him. He's crazy. Hush. She means stereotypes. Stereotypes? In Soul Plane? That's nonsense. Say, how about we tell your daddy we saw something else? Hmm? <gasps> you mean, why? That really doesn't seem to be a good idea. Hush, boy. You know, it's okay to break the rules every once in a while. I won't tell if you won't. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I think Granddad may be a bad influence. This is gonna be so much fun! This is going to be the worst day of your life. I'm bringing nunchucks. Huh? Oh, this is nothing. He's just getting started. Now I gotta spend all my damn money on a bucket of popcorn. Told you. Mm. Shut up. You're ruining my innocence! Shut up! I expected to be in first class. I first class. Go. Oh. First class. <laughs> Granddad, what's wrong with Jasmine? <laughs> She's fine. Watch the movie. Oh, that's crazy. Wait till the manager gets him. He gonna throw the book at both of y'all. This is the worst day of my entire life. 
told you. You want to come over to my house tomorrow after school and watch TV? No. Do you want to come over and play video games? No. Do you want to come over and have a jump rope contest? I'm going back home to Chicago. For good? No, I wish. We're going for a funeral, one of my granddad's old friends. But I'm going to get to see my best friend, Cairo. Cairo is your best friend? Yeah, but I haven't talked to him since I moved. How can he be your best friend if you never talk to him? I don't think I have a best friend. Huh, sucks for you. Well, I'll never come back. Have a nice life. Bye. You got knocked up. Never mind. You came back! Did you miss me? Maybe. <laughs> I bet you did. <laughs> because I don't have but you in the face like your other so-called friends. <laughs> Wait, come back. <laughs> Let me look at it. <clears throat> okay, try it. <laughs> Trilateral. I got a silly contraption in my garage. A hundred gallons of fucking water. I got more damn Cheerios and canned green beans than I'm ever gonna eat. Granddad, I promise you'll be thanking me when the crisis comes. Where is the crisis, boy? Where's the disaster? Where's the return on investment? All this damn money for extra food and toilet paper. That's it. It's over. I ain't spending another damn dime on the end of the world. You're on your own now, Jack. Boy, you ready to go get some chicken? Yeah, yeah. You want some fried chicken, little baby? Fried chicken is murder. What's that for, anyway? It's a generator. What does it do? Nothing right now, but if I can get it to work, it could save our lives. So how bad is it going to be when the end of the world comes? I don't know. But I got it all worked out so the three of us can survive in this house as long as possible. Three? Me, Riley, and Granddad. What about everyone else? I can't save everyone else. If I tried, I'd just end up saving nobody. What about me? Would you let me stay here? You know, if, if things got bad. The plan is for three people. A fourth person, and we could run out of food or water. But I'm your friend. Can't you make a plan for four people? I guess. Ah, <sighs> I feel much better about that now. You know, Huey, everybody says you're a loony person, but I think one day you're going to be smarter than everybody. What? Huey, did you hear about the mystery virus? Huey, you've got Jasmine terrified about all of this end of the world stuff. Tell him, Huey. Tell him the end is coming. Look, if you guys want to play your little make-believe survival games, that's fine. But, sweetie, I promise you, the world is not going to end. Please, Daddy, it's not safe. Honey, I have to pick up your mother. Stay as long as you want. Have fun. Call me when you want to come home. No! You made his choice. You in or out? Here is the survival plan. It contains guidelines for security, food and water rationing, energy usage, communications, etc., etc. What? Nigga, what is this? Homework? Everything you need to know is in your packet. It's easy to understand, and I use extra large type. Uh, you know, I don't like to read instructions. Yeah, and I don't like to read, period. Say no. Hey! hey Daddy! What do you want? This is the restricted area. Hey, uh, it's us. We're just checking on Jasmine and, um, wondering if it was too late to... Is Huey home? Can we just talk to Huey or Robert? This is Huey. Huey, let us in. I can't. That's not fair! You let everyone else in! <laughs> <laughs> we don't have enough food for two more people. What about what Leonard brought? No way! That's for us. Guys, it's us, Tom and Sarah. We are your neighbors and dear friends. We've had so many hilarious adventures together. Come on. You're really going to leave us out here to die? Oh, come on, Maybe guys. we should let him in because Jasmine start crying and we'll never get her to shut up. Okay, I guess. Step closer to the camera. They can come in. Really? Thank you, Huey. Thank you, thank you. But they're not allowed to eat anything. Works for me. It's going to be just fine. Oh, no. She'll oh, find oh. you. All that work, all that planning. Why did I even try? Because you're different from everyone else. Okay, try it. <gasps> I knew you could do it. <sighs> In the plan. Did anyone read the plan? Well, you know, oh, you, 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 you know, people read to me. I did. Right. Hmm. Homie tear gas.
Yeah, you know if someone has fried chicken flu? Well, it normally starts with a temperature and excessive sweatiness. After that, tremendous stomach pain, headache, loss of balance. As mucus builds up, they'll begin to have an incredible amount of snot. Soon after that, the inevitable projectile vomit. Merry Christmas, Mr. Uberwitz. Are you here to see Mr. Freeman? Uh, yeah. One second. Mr. Uberwitz is here. Okay. He's just finishing up another meeting. You can have a seat in the hallway. Can I get you anything? Oh, Huey! You've got a lunch meeting at 11.30 about the sound effects for the dogfight sequence. Cancel it. The PTA is threatening a boycott of the play since you fired all the kids. <sighs> Don't care. And the principal's in your office to talk about the script. Who? Christmas is about how Santa died for our gifts and rose from the dead and moved to the North Pole. And because of that, every year Santa comes down to forgive us our sins and give us eternal presents. Man, Santa these nuts. Where was Santa when we was in the hood, huh? Santa ain't show a nigga no love back then. I didn't ask for much, just rims, not even the whole car. And what do we get? Nothing. That nigga gonna pay what he owe. Hey, Huey! Yay! Yeah! Maybe the heat does make people crazy. I shouldn't have taken that nap. Have I ever told you about J -J Jasmine's hot chocolate explosion? It will be a delivery service for hot chocolate. I can charge a delivery fee and get tips. All that planning. Why did I even try? Because you're different from everyone else. Okay, try it. Put Sarah soaked in hot sauce, drizzled with mayonnaise, and then set to harden on my back porch in three pounds of cheddar cheese.